The next component of accessibility in PDF that we're going to cover is appropriate alt text. As you can see in our tags, we do have a figure. Figures can be images, they can be graphs, they can be icons. You always want to make sure that they have the appropriate alt text. Alt text will tell the assistive technology or screen reader what the content and the context of the image is. So let's check the alt text of this image. We will right click and select properties. It is tagged correctly as a figure, but you can see the alt text is probably just whatever the JPEG was named when it came over. So if we hadn't went through and checked for accessibility manually in this document, reviewing our tags, the screen reader would be reading this text and get to this image and start reading this, and that would be pretty nonsensical to any student who is not a visual learner. So we don't necessarily need a title because this is an image, but we do want to make sure that the alt text that we have provides context and a description for what the image is. So for this, we have, and we don't need to say image because the screen reader will already be saying that it's an image and indicating to the student. So we want to just describe what it actually is. So we will say University Hall on EGSU main campus with the sun setting in the background. That gives a context for what the image is and it also is a pretty good description of what is happening in the image. So now we can close that. You'll want to down arrow through the rest of your document to see if there are any other additional images. As you can see here, there's an image of sick sick right here that we'll need a description for. And there's also the figure of a graph. Now, this is a little bit different for adding your alternative text because it's not a photograph. So when we're adding alternative text for something that is displaying information like this with data for BGSU students and BGSU, or sorry, BGSU students and non-students who are using the rec center, we want to describe what the data is showing us because the students who are using an assistive technology cannot uh, participate as a visual learner. So we would want to describe um, what the graph is showing and provide that appropriately in the alternative text so that way students who are unable to view the graph can still understand the context and what the data is showing. 